Hey, Jason Palliser here with the No Flipping Excuses channel. And on this video, we're gonna be talking about who would be the ideal type of avatar or homeowner that you could do a subject to deal with, okay? And before I even jump into it, I want you to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. We got more good stuff coming. Um, but let's dive into, okay, so let's dive into who would be the ideal avatar for a subject to real estate deal. Uh, and I, there, there's a, a few a few things to consider about that. The first one is any homeowner that has a financial situation where they have stuff going on um, and they can't make their payments, they're an ideal person um, to broach the subject with them, say, hey, um, if you're open to terms, I can take over this property. And uh, so anybody that's been behind on payments, and I always say this, get inside their mind. Who, who's the avatar? Somebody that's, somebody that's in distress. And uh, the thing that I've said for 20 something years of training people across America, I'm like, bad things, bad things happen to good people. I could go on and on and on. Uh, somebody loses a job. Somebody gets in a car accident. Uh, somebody has to start taking care of a family member because they can't take care of themselves anymore. Someone gets downsized, loses a job, this and that. What happens is, is um, financial pressure starts stacking up. So um, a good avatar is somebody who's had some of those events happen and the, the stress of making the house payment is eating them alive. That's where you come in as a professional investor and have a conversation with them uh, that goes beyond just, hey, I can pay cash for your house. Um, so a, a prime candidate is somebody who has missed payments. Now, another thing that I would like you to look for who would be a good candidate for a subject to real estate investment deal is this. Anybody, um, especially in a market where interest rates are going up and there's inflation and properties are starting to stay on the market longer because anybody buying a property has to pay more for the property because interest rates are higher. So with prices dropping, anyone that doesn't have a lot of equity uh, would be a prime candidate to have a conversation with about a subject to deal. They know they're not going to walk with a bunch of money. So Really, if they have a if if you uncover a, a motivated lead that doesn't have a lot of equity in the property, they're not going to end up with a lot of money. Um, they are a prime candidate to have a uh, just nice, easy conversation about. Well, what if we just take over the property on terms? Uh, now, uh, in previous videos and this video, I I I need you to understand the the massive benefit on your end um, before we keep diving into this, which is if you can take over someone else's payments. Um, several things on your that, that happened on your behalf, which are amazing. So, so let's talk about this, okay? Um, one, you may take over payments on a loan where the interest rate is 2.5, 3%. And everyone else in the marketplace that's buying and selling property in today's markets, getting seven or eight or whatever, whatever the interest rate is, that's a massive win for you, right? You may be able to take over that property and on the back end and tend to do whatever the heck you want with it. Um, now you can fix it up slowly. You didn't have to buy it and come up with the fix up money. Um, you have a much smaller payment than you would have got in the marketplace. You didn't have to go get a loan. I can go on and on and on. Uh, an ideal person is somebody that doesn't have a lot of equity. Another prime candidate would be anybody that's facing pre foreclosure. They qualified at some point to get a loan. Bad stuff has happened to them. The bank has said, hear ye, hear ye, I've publicly filed for foreclosure. I'm done with you. You signed a deed, um, you signed a deed of trust. It says you make your payments on time, you do this, you're not doing it. So that what they do is they legally file um, for pre-foreclosure. That skyrockets the homeowner's level of motivation because they are officially on the clock. In some states it's 30 days and they're done. Some days it's or some states it's 60, 90, right? So what I need you to understand is that a prime candidate is anyone that's facing pre foreclosures and those come every month like clockwork. So on your end, if you're taking notes or going, okay, who should I go after? I always tell everybody as a smart investor, just think for one second before you pounce in the marketplace, where do I want to live and breathe? Uh, I would attack pre foreclosures like my life depended on it um, from a subject to standpoint. They're running out of time. Uh, and, and just so you know, 
um, you know, just to dive in a little deeper, that when the banks file, they're done. They're done with them. And they, they spend thousands of dollars to get this ball rolling. So they usually don't go back on it and say, huh, just kidding. They're, I'm done. You have 30 days left, 40 days left, 18 days left, 10 days left. That's where you can swoop in and say, hey, look, um, so from a negotiation, look, we're running out of time. I can't even go get a regular loan to purchase this. What if I just took over the payments and did what X, Y, Z based upon your situation to solve it? Um, so, so hopefully that's starting to make sense to you. Uh, now, again, as we're going through, through this here, if you're liking what we're talking about, give us a comment, click the like button and don't forget to subscribe because again, we're coming with some more good stuff. Um, but having said that, these are people that are prime candidates to go after and negotiate and talk, uh, about maybe doing a subject to deal. And again, like I said, anybody that's missed payments, anybody that's got financial strife, uh, pre foreclosures, somebody that may not be missing payments whatsoever, but they don't have a lot of equity. Um, here's one thing that we like to do, uh, is we will, we will go out and market to people that have purchased a house within the last 24 months. Cause chances are if they've purchased a house in the last 24 months, they haven't built up a ton of equity. Um, I, again, can, we're, we're talking about controlling a property without having to do a regular purchase on it. So think uh, logically, uh, why would I not just go after uh, an avatar, which is they've owned it for 24 months or less. They probably don't have a ton of equity. I'm going to go ahead and market to some of those people and see if anyone's interested in doing something with their property. Some will, some won't. Who cares? I'm systematic about it. I don't care about the outcome. I just know and have developed over time, which ones am I going to go after? I don't want to go after somebody that doesn't have a level of motivation because um, that could just be clogging up uh, my my lead generation engine and my follow-up engine going after the wrong type of leads. That's what this video is about is identifying which ones we do want to go after. Uh, you can also go after uh, landlords who have filed for eviction. Uh, I don't know if you're aware of that, but you can go to the county and ask to unlock a, a, a list called order to vacate. Again, most people don't teach that, right? So you can unlock the order to vacate. And that means typically a landlord's filed to get rid of somebody who's not paying them on their property. They may have a smoking hot interest rate, a nice low interest rate, and they're just done with the property. They're tired of dealing with the headache. You can swoop in and take it over. So we're just trying to develop here. Which ones are we going after? Okay, so which type of homeowner would be a prime candidate, uh, would be a prime candidate for a subject to deal. These are the ones to go after. And I'll, I'll recap a little bit for you here. We have uh, people that have missed payments, people absolutely without a doubt that are in pre foreclosure. They may have a incredible interest rate on their house, but they've run into a problem. And that's where you come in and offer solutions just besides buying their house. Uh, tired landlords. So I would go straight to the county and do um, do a Freedom of Information Act request and say, I'd like to get access to the last 90 days of all the order to vacates. So hopefully this is starting to make sense for everybody here. Um, these are the ones that we go after when we want to try and control a property without having to buy it. And again, what are the benefits to you? Uh, so uh, the benefits to you are taking over a great interest rate that you can cash flow or now do a what I call a slow flip because you took it over without having to buy it. And now you don't need as much capital uh, to benefit on the back end. Hey, and before I forget, because my brain goes 100 miles an hour, uh, another thing that you can do, and I, I, and I always have fun with it and try and have it land in your investor brain the right way. I call it the no gas money spent program. Okay. From your phone, from your computer and on your couch. You can simply just go on to Google and type in houses for rent in whatever city that you're going after. And you'll find tons of websites, uh, tons of websites that are ha that have landlords that are advertising, raising their hand saying, Hey, I got a property for rent. I got a property for rent. I would literally cultivate a list of 50, a hundred, 200 of 200 houses in your area where a landlord is actively raising their hand. You know, it's vacant. They're raising their hand to rent their property out. Uh, that's a level of motivation uh, that you may, able, may be able to swoop in and say, hey, are you done? Are you tired? Um, I'd like to talk to you about maybe uh, taking over the property. I know you have it up there for rent. 
and you could negotiate terms with them and try and take over the property subject too. Uh, so I would absolutely, without a doubt, also um, just sit there again, don't have to spend any money to do it. You can search from your couch and just start developing a list and talk to 50, 100, 200 landlords that have a property that isn't producing them money right now and see if they maybe want to um, talk to you about taking over the property and relieving their their stress and their burden. You could give them a little bit of cash and take over their existing financing. Um, but that is absolutely, um, without a doubt, a sandbox and an avatar type of property owner that you may want to broach that subject with. And just so you know, what I like to do is if they, if they allow me to take it over or take over the payments in some fashion, I'll immediately, and again, do, hear this and just file it away for, for future use. Okay. I will immediately look at a, look up Airbnb numbers on it and say, okay, if I can take over the financing, is this a property that I could Airbnb? And as I say that, you may be listening right now. And again, this is where I expand your brain. Well, Jason, I don't know about my air and for Airbnb, this and that. You'd be surprised. Uh, when we do when we do research, you'd be surprised. Again, we're talking about who's an avatar, take over financing. I'll immediately evaluate it for cash flow if I take over financing with a smoking hot interest rate. And one thing I like to do is look up Airbnb for different areas. And again, you're like, well, not in my area. Yeah, just like I didn't think that Columbus, Ohio would ever in a million years be a good place to Airbnb, but it's a, for some reason, it's a hotbed for it. And I'm um, so, uh, and, I, and I'm not even in Ohio. I will literally smoke all the landlords there and say, hey, uh, I'd like to talk to you, blah, blah, blah. And just so you know, just for fun, uh, just sprinkling in some stuff. When I evaluate it, I can get two to three times the normal rent if I Airbnb it. So you bet your you know what, that I'm going to go after every single landlord there and find five to 10 of them that are tired and start negotiating with them. So take this, take notes again. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends. Uh, uh, the more you guys tell us what you like and what you want, the more that we're going to deliver that to you. So let us know what you're looking for. If you need clarification on something, we're here to help you. And again, I'll see you on the next video. Uh, other than that, go get them. Hey, Jason Palliser here from the No Flipping Excuses channel. So just for being on our channel, here's what we're going to do. Go to www.theflippingbook.com where we're going to break down for you and give you for seven bucks. If you go to Amazon, it's $24.95. You're going to save 17 bucks and get an instant download of our wholesaling book where we break down how to get leads and deals under contract that other investors don't even know about and get smoking hot deals on the back end and then how we run circles around our competition and how you can close your first deal or start stacking on top of that. So you just need to go to the flippingbook.com and we put it together for you and it's our gift to you for seven bucks, not 24.95 just for being on our channel. So check it out.